What's up, Cancer? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Thank goodness I didn't get a song for you guys to open the reading. Okay. Either way, Cancer, we're going to do a love message today. See what Beloved has for you. Beloved, what's going on with the Cancers? What's up with the Cancers, please? Wow. This is so powerful, Cancer. This energy of feeling safe. Now, if you look at this woman on this card, like she feels safe with herself. She's kind of, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. She got her diary, her book or whatever, right? But it's like she was led to this place in order to to live better, to feel better. You know, I felt like you were in a connection where you didn't feel safe with this person um, or you wanted to feel safe and it just never happened for you within this connection. I also feel um, cancer, let me try to readjust. Okay, but I also feel cancer like whatever led you to this place of feeling safe, it was intuit intuitively guided um, you were intuitively guided to this place where you could experience more joy and more happiness. But, you know, this energy of, you know, kind of being by yourself and closing yourself off because you don't feel safe for a connection or you don't feel like it's safe to love, you know, like I can see the fear, the hurt in this person eyes. So, Cancer, you have went through some deep-rooted pain, some deep-rooted hurt, and you don't feel safe in the love sector. You know, it's like, it's like I'd rather be alone than experience the type of heartbreak and pain that I've experienced throughout my life, through this last relationship. I feel like cancer, there's an opening though for like new love to enter or for you to learn to love yourself more. I feel like cancer, this this feeling of, of not feeling safe in love is not you at all. You're a water sign. You're a love sign. If you don't love in this world, who's going to love, right? You're going to leave it up to the Pisces and Scorpios. But um, let's go ahead and get into it because this energy here just feels like, you know, I just... I got to put my boundaries up because I just don't feel safe in this love department. You know, I've tried love and I've got hurt time and time again. So I just don't feel safe anymore. So you're coming off more guarded. You can be more guarded with your friends, your family, um, suitors that's trying to pursue you. Overall, it's just, you know, I'm guarding my heart right now, you know. Well, let's see what's up. Beloved, what's going on with Cancer and the person and Cancer's energy? What's going on with Cancer and the person and Cancer's energy, please? What's going on with Cancer and the person and their energy, please? Thank you. The moon. The fool. <laughs> The Two of Cups, Strength, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands. You know, that being led and guided different places, you see that eagle that's flying above? That is beloved. That's God. That is always leading you and guiding you into different ventures, different places, different things within your life. You know, I feel like you may have lost your 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 faith, your grounding in love. Like I, I feel like cancer for many of you, you guys are like hopeless romantics and you do believe that love is possible, but at the same time, you're kind of afraid to go out there and try again. You know, there's someone that's in your life that has this foundational place in your heart, right? 
it feels like whoever this person is, like, I don't know, this is someone from your past. It was very hard to let this person go because you still like continue to hold on to this person. But at the same time, you know that you need to explore your other options or see what else is out there, right? I can see kind of why it was a foundational connection because it was really, really deep. You know, this is the kind of connection that you don't find within everyone you meet. You know, this is the type of connection that comes along, you know, once or twice in a lifetime. And it's a connection that, like I said, you was also divinely guided to. You know, because your love, you know, this is what I'm talking about, Cancer. If you don't love, who's going to love? You see how this love that these two share even transmutes into the doves that's behind them. I don't know why sometime it want to get clear, sometime it doesn't. It doesn't want to focus in on it. Oh. But um like your love transforms like environments, Cancer. You got to understand how powerful you are as a as a person, as an individual that roams this earth, Cancer. Love for you is who you are, right? There's there's not anything that you can change about who you are at the heart and soul on the spirit level about yourself, right? You're meant to be a person who loves. And you've probably had um, different suitors that love you, but this love that you had here was a special bonded type of love, something strong, something beautiful, Something that made your heart jump for joy. Something that created like this excitement, this joy, this positivity in your life. It was it was just something that impacted you in a profound way. I feel like cancer, the deeper you got into this connection, the deeper you grew to love this person, right? Whoever this person was, like you could see your future with them. You could like... Um, picture, you know, traveling, starting a new life, going somewhere else and just living like totally different from what you were living prior to meeting this person, right? But something happened. Something happened within this connection, Cancer. That was more than you would ever know. You became a place of solace for this person. A place where they could come and just be completely themselves, let their guards down, and just be open to, like, love, right? It's like you calmed, you know, the parts of this person that may have been raging inside, right? You were like this energy that flowed down over them like um, a, a washing of some sort from all the hurt and all the pain that they had experienced, right? I feel like your love for this person overflowed. And I feel like they intuitively knew how much you loved them, Cancer. But their whole thing was, I don't deserve this. You know, this has given me Beauty and the Beast vibes, too. Um, so your person, whatever they were going through in their life, they needed you at that time. They had became cynical regarding love. They had become cynical regarding people and connections. And, like, you showed up, Cancer, at the perfect time to show this person that love is real and that love still exists, right? You went through um, a big change within this connection. Like I said before, this was a connection that changed you and made you want to be a better person, be a better woman, be a better man, right? It was something that changed you both. And it was something that was meant to be beautiful, right? Because as you were out there alone, not feeling safe, not feeling like, you know, it's love out there for me. 
you know, this person showed up out of nowhere and gave you someone to love and someone to feel safe with, right? But I feel like this person wasn't telling you something, right? Whatever they were hiding from you, Cancer, I'm not sure if even now you know what this person was hiding. But it feels like this energy of this person having a deep knowing and feeling the same way that you do, right? But just kind of try to fight it. You know, they still had um, some things to calm within themselves. And this was work that they couldn't do with you, Cancer. This was work that they had to do alone by themselves. But I felt like you were a catalyst for this person to go ahead and start doing the work that they need to do, right? Like this is them beginning their journey, starting their journey, right? But it all goes back to you, Cancer, right? So this person, as they're starting this journey, they're starting to see a lot of things that's coming into their environment that they haven't seen before, right? Or that they didn't used to pay attention to. It's like, it's like this person is being taught by God, taught by the universe, how to, you know, really step into the fullness of who they are as an individual outside of this connection, right? It's like this person needs time to grow, time to be groomed, time to really step into the very essence of their full being. I feel like this person, Cancer, they discovered something about themselves. Whatever they discovered about themselves in this connection, this is what they're working on, right? They're working on trying to master whatever this thing is that they found within this connection. I don't know if this, if them mastering how to love someone. I don't know if it's mastering their intuition, mastering um, different addictions or something like that. But they're definitely in this energy of learning, right? Growing, right? I feel like cancer, you know, this winter, I feel like it's still going to be that time where you guys may still not come together. And the only reason I say this primarily is because, you know, it's the five of pentacles energy, right? This person needs a lot of time to grow and to who they're becoming, right? And this may make you feel some type of way, like this connection is lost, or, you know, this person isn't coming back, or, you know, whatever. But, you know, you got to realize everything is in divine timing, right? It's in divine timing. And I see, man, this person needs to be taught. There might be someone that's sent in this person's life, some type of um, mentor, a uh, spiritual advisor, a priest, a pastor, somebody. But this person is going to learn cancer. They're going to learn exactly what it means to really love, what it means to really be a higher version of their, their self right now. This person is going to learn the lesson that they've been avoiding a long time before they met you, cancer. Clarify this five of pentacles, please. The will of fortune. Be patient, Cancer. This person is becoming a king of pentacles. Okay, so you could be dealing with the earth sign, uh, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But be, be patient. Because as this person is going through this significant change, they're going to be like a totally different person and be ready for real things in their life, real commitments, real um, agendas, and things like that. 
because this is a strong connection. It keeps showing up. It keeps showing up. So a very strong connection. But it's going to take some time. Okay. How does this person feel about cancer at this time, please? How does this person feel about cancer at this time, please? <laughs> And due season, Cancer. They need time. Okay? Takes time and time. Cycles, time to heal, progress. Right? That's the energy they're in right now. What else? And this came out in reverse. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there. Plan, set a date. Okay? So this is, you know, this is not what they're doing right now, Cancer. They're not worried about dating. They focused in on themselves and getting themselves together, right? One more. Love. And they know exactly where to get that love from. This isn't something they're out here searching for, looking for, and desiring. They know where true love lies, and it's with you, right? Look at the two of cups that came out twice, right? Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Cancer, it just it's going to take some time. Right now, it's just not the time because this person has to step into their true authentic self before this can come back together. Okay, Cancer. Either way, you guys, I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Atticus. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out BlackMadonnaHP.com. You can find some of my items down below, so make sure you check those out. But either way, I thank you so much for watching. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.